all right how y'all doing this morning um this is something new um that i'm doing um i already had a channel but i just kind of went on a break uh, i had so much going on where i had to transition um my home and um then i ended up transitioning my job a lot of you know, losing my dog which is a lot so that's that's to come but there's been a a situation that has just sprouted to my knowledge I don't know where it's been there it's just that I have just now realized what has happened what is going on and what it's been and I'm gonna start a, a vlog because I know my worth and I know what I'm gonna accept and I know what I'm not gonna accept. Um, basically, it's a vlog about, um, so it takes 21 days, 21 days for you to make um, a habit out of anything. And so I was in a three year relationship with someone and I am such a strong-minded individual, didn't realize what was really happening, but the whole time I was in a relationship with the narcissist. Yeah. I was in a relationship with the narcissist and didn't even realize it. some of the things that this person was saying, the, you know, just the whole way that they moved, from me looking back, and, and I'll, I'll go into that later, but I just want to let you guys know that because a lot of us don't talk about it. I'm just gonna be honest. We don't talk about it, we just stay in a relationship, and some women think, okay, uh, it's, it's a little bit too late for me to be, it's never too late, baby. It's never too late. Somebody's always looking for a good woman, somebody's always looking for a good man, and that's the way we're gonna keep it. We're gonna never settle. Never settle. So this is, this is actually, see, um, This is day six for me, and um, I'm gonna go back to those days, um, and I'm gonna do separate videos for those because those are the days that you just feel like the bottom has just fell out. Like you just walk around sick, you can't really eat. You're like, you don't know what, like for real. Can't even believe this is happening, right? But the more information that you have about this situation, I promise you, you'll have a peace of mind with it. We're gonna start a whole community on this channel. Um, in any other community or tribe that you find that's talking about narcissists, join that that tribe or that community. It will definitely be helpful to your mind, your spirit, and your soul um, to help you understand what is happening so that way you won't continue to be a victim um, because that's what it is. You're being used. You're being used. Whether you're being used for sex, whether you're being used for money, sometimes you're being used for it all. I feel like I was being used for it all. I'm just going to be honest. Um, now that I look back, um, I refuse. My last straw for me, um, I found out that, that the narcissist was pulling money supply from a new supply. And I'll give you the terminologies on the other, uh, you know, videos. Um, he was pulling money from the new supply. Um, and it was like $20 a year, $50 a year. And, and I prayed because I felt like something was different. And I prayed to God two weeks prior. And God showed me everything I needed to see. And when I when I when I exposed him with it, and when I came to him with it, this whole thing was my fault. Oh, you never should have looked at this. Oh, you never should have did this. Oh, now you you do you this you this you that you this you that you this you that. I'm not gonna play this game with you at all when it comes down to my life. I deserve to be happy. I am over 35. And I believe everything that God says I can have, I can have. I have not had any kids yet. 
I was pregnant with this person at one point, had a miscarriage due to argo this this dysfunction. Dysfunction. And I refuse to put myself through that again. I deserve better. I am a queen. And this community is for anyone, male or female, that feels the same way. Um, you can comment below on your, on your comments. I definitely read them. We will read them on, on, on live. Whatever you want to do. But this, I'm doing this to bring awareness. Because a lot of people don't know. And they continue to, to it's verbal abuse. Abuse. It's narcissistic abuse. That's what it is. And it is, you feel like you're, you don't realize it. You don't realize it because the person manipulates your mind and makes you feel like it's, it's always you. It's always you doing wrong. And you got to do this right or you got to straighten up or you got to do this. No. And, and it got to a point where I was too strong for that because I remember at a time this person came, well, you know, you got to do better uh, because I'm tired of this. Uh, you got to do better. And with me, and I'm just going to be honest because I do have PTSD. Due to situations like this, I spazzed out and I told them, no, you got to do better. No, you got to do better. And when I exposed him and confronted him because I was too strong-minded for him, he couldn't handle it. His, his first mind is to get off the phone. Or oh, I'll call you back. Then you'll call me back the next day or the next day trying to hurt me by ignoring me by not calling that's not normal that's not normal that's not a normal relationship that's not a normal relationship and we'll go into that more but i'm gonna give you all a 21 day vlog on how to do a no contact because that's what it is you have to completely cut them off you have to block them do not text. Do not call. Don't don't look at their Facebook. Especially if you're not strong enough. Don't even post nothing on your face. Don't post, don't post anything, even if it don't have nothing to do with him. Don't post anything. Just go cold, disappear. Because at this point, you have to heal. This is not a normal breakup. This is this is a different healing. It really is. So, you definitely have to force your mind, especially if you're working, you have kids, because you have to stay focused on those things. You have to stay focused on those things. So, um, this is day six for me. Um, I'm excited. I'm proud of myself. Because me and this person, we were on, me and my narcissist, we were on the, uh, we were talking like, we were living together. And then I started to see some things then, and then I, and I, I pulled away. Um, so I started, we started to, we were like talking on the phone like what, seven or eight times a day. Yeah. And um, I just started to notice some things at the end. We actually had a conversation the day before I found out what was going on. Because I was trying to find out where he was mentally. And some of the answers that he gave me was not satisfactory to me. like he was kind of hesitant and I felt like at that time I said well is it because in my mind am I it's because I'm no longer supporting like I was because we were in a house I, I mostly did everything I did I mean, he came with you know his part but I always made sure everything was done. Done, done. Extra money, extra food, everything. Everything. So, um, when I pulled away, I felt like that's when I, I started to see the real him in the specs, uh, specs and pieces. So, when I feel like the new supply came in the picture, that's when I started to see the full maze. Come off. So um, I'm here to bring awareness. I'm here to help you guys. We're gonna walk through this thing together. 
Y'all gonna see me, I ain't got no makeup, no eyelash, and all that old stuff. And even nails done, I'm still in quarantine and all this old extra stuff. It's okay. That's that's that can be fixed. I'm not worried about that. I'm worried about my mind and your mind. Mentally. Um, there are a few people um that I have within this last week I have grown to just love. <laughs> I had just I have just grown to just love um Dave Mark You have to go on this channel. Dave, that's his name. Um, that's his name. But the Narcology Unscripted Channel. And I'll put that in the description down below. Um, please subscribe to him, and this is him, he brought so much joy to my situation, and it may not, y'all might not find him hilarious, but I, he's hilarious to me, so, you know, it may be, he may seem a little weird, he may seem a little weird at first, but, uh, He's cool. I like him. So, just uh, FYI, you know, we're going to do this thing together. 21 days. 21 days. We're going to do this. I'm on day six. So, I'm going to go back and backtrack how I was feeling on those other days and do those videos. Um, just to let y'all know that you ain't in this by yourself. You're not in this by yourself. Um, and I wish, and I'm glad in today's society that we do have, you know, um, avenues we have youtube we have you know different things and, and different social media outlets so that way we can we can help each other because that's what it's all about you know um click take a moment and uh like and subscribe to my channel please share it if you need to um spread the word um it don't cost anything to click and subscribe at all it don't cost anything um it's not that I'm giving out this for free. Um, and I got more things to come. Um, I do have uh, some tutorials that I want to do. Um, that's going to be later. But we got some things to talk about. We got some things to talk about. So I'm not going to hold y'all. I'll talk to y'all later. Like I said, this is day six for me. Um, so day six is today. What I'm going to do, I've been focusing on um, just staying focused, doing what I need to do. Um... For as any hobbies that you like to do, stay busy. If you want to read a book, if you want to indulge yourself into what people are talking about, uh, narcissism uh, or narcissists, you can do that too. You know, whatever's gonna help you get through and make you feel better, you do that. You do that. That is your mental health. You do that. So, um, day six, just kind of take it easy. Um, today is Thursday. We're at the end of May. And um, tomorrow is Friday, the weekend. If y'all normally used to do something, you and your NARC, find something in place that go out with friends. <laughs> you know, it, it, no, one monkey don't stop a show. Understand that. One monkey don't stop the show. I always got friends. I always got people of the opposite sex that want to take you out. They want to go out with you. That they've always wanted to go out with you, but you couldn't. You couldn't. You know, you wanted to remain loyal to this fool over here. You know, and all of along, all along, now you realize that it wasn't real. It was just a game to them. You know. So hopefully, if you're looking at this, you are either contemplating leaving. You have just left. Either you have did the discard or he has this or he or she has discarded you hopefully you discarded them hopefully because that was my case once i found out discarded yeah discard i'm not gonna play with you and i'm not gonna let you play with my life because of what i i know what i can do and i know me so i know that I, if i continue to let this go further and, and take heed, y'all. Seriously. 
if you have a temper, and you know you have a temper, not that you're crazy, you're not crazy, I don't care what they told you, you are not crazy. I don't care what they told you, you are not crazy. But if you have a temper, do not continue to let this person demean you, make you feel like you're crazy, talk to you like nothing, and you and you did everything in your power to help this person. You have been nothing but good because what's gonna happen is you're gonna end up snapping and you're gonna end up behind bars for the rest of your life. I had to think about that. My dad had to put me to say, listen, boo. Like, hey, come on. I can't have you in jail for the rest of your life. You done did so good this far. We're not, we're not going that route. That ain't no good look for you. And I and the bad and the sad part is I know that I am capable of doing it. I know this. I know this. For life. So stop playing with me. So how about instead of keep telling this person who don't hear you and don't care don't worry about them leaving don't worry about it being a mutual agreement that y'all break up you leave you leave and let them figure out the rest that when they come back hoovering tell them to keep the same energy move on I know it's hard I know it's hard cause you love them or well, you may be in love with them I get it trust me but you got to be in love with yourself first. All right, talk to y'all later. I love you.